Okay, now so far we've looked at drawing quadratic graphs, using the quadratic equation to figure out the features of a quadratic graph using tangents and so on and so on. So what I want us to do right now is to do a CSEC question together and then I'm going to give you some CSEC style questions to do on your own. Now this is the January 2019 question 8a and in this question you are going to complete a table for the function, draw the graph and then use that to determine the coordinates of the maximum point, the range of values of x for which f of x is greater than 0 and the gradient of f of x at a point. Okay, So let's get started. So first we want to find the values, the missing values in the table. So we're going to find the values when x is negative 2 and when x is 2. So we need to find the values of f of x. Now when x is negative 2, that means I'm going to put it into my function, right? So now that's going to look like 3 plus 2 times negative 2 minus negative 2 all squared, okay? And if I work that down, I'm going to have 3 minus 4 because 2 times minus 2 is negative 4. And then negative 2 squared is positive 4, so that's going to be minus a positive 4, which is the same thing as saying minus 4. So 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 4 is going to give me negative 5. So when x is negative 2, f of x is negative 5. Now let me just repeat the same process when x is 2. So again, I put it into my equation. And that's going to give me 3 plus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Now 2 squared is still positive 4, so that's going to be minus positive 4 again. So that's minus 4. Now 4 minus 4 is 0, so that's just going to leave me with 3. So when x is 2, f of x is 3. Now, the next question wants us to complete the grid below, or in this case, to the side, because I kind of moved it over to the side here, and show the graph of, draw the graph of the function, rather, for x being between negative 2 and 4, right? So, that means I am going to have to show all the points. And on this graph... I don't have a point for x being minus 2, nor one for x being 2, so I'm going to have to plot those. But those are the ones that I just found. So that means we're going to have to plot negative 2, negative 5, and 2, negative 3 on our grid as parts of f of x, right? So when x is negative 2, y is negative 5, so that point's going to be probably somewhere here. And, and, and keep in mind, too, the graph doesn't really look like this on the actual paper but i guess because it's soft copy it looks kind of grainy but let's just work with it for now and the next point was two three so that was two three so that's gonna end up somewhere about here yeah okay good so now we can plot our curve so i'm gonna try my best remember i'm not the best grapher but let me try I think it's fair to say I'm embarrassing every left-hander out there. I'm so sorry. Oh, mm, I, I, I tried. I tried. In the exam, what's going to help you, though, is a French curve. I always try to use a French curve because I know that I'm not the best graph plotter. But this will do for now, okay? Just try to make yours look better. <laughs> All right. So we want to find the coordinates of the maximum point of f of x. And the maximum point is basically the point where the graph is the highest, right? So here, the maximum point would be right here. And, and, and remember, we usually call this our vertex. The maximum or minimum point is the vertex of the graph. So at this point, you notice it was at x equals 1, right? And y equals 4. So the coordinate is 1, 4. Now, the range of values of x for which f of x is greater than 0 basically just means that when f of x is greater than 0, in other words, when f of x is above 0, 
then we want to find which values of x are those. And because it's a range, it's going to go from one point to another point. Okay. So you'll notice that when f of x is greater than zero, right? f of x is greater than zero, it would be above that line. And it would be all of these points from here going all the way over to here. Now, it starts when x is minus 1, and it stops when x is 3. So that means the range of values is when x is between negative 1 and 3. And finally, now, we want to find the gradient of f of x at x equals 1. So first, let me identify that point. So when x is 1, that would be right here. And because we want to find the gradient of the curve, we're going to have to draw the tangent line. So I'm going to have to draw the tangent line at this point, which incidentally is our maximum point. So I'm going to draw my tangent here. All right. So this is my tangent. It touches the line only once. And it would be that blue line right here. Right. So that is my tangent to the line. Now, you'll notice that this tangent is horizontal and it's only running, right? It's not rising. Every horizontal line has a gradient of zero. So since the gradient of the tangent is zero, that means the gradient of f of x at that same point is going to be equal to zero.